Photodynamic Therapy, Wikipedia Article Audio Photodynamic therapy, sometimes called photochemotherapy, is a form of phototherapy involving light and a photosensitizing chemical substance, used in conjunction with molecular oxygen to elicit cell death. PDT has proven ability to kill microbial cells, including bacteria, fungi, and viruses. PDT is popularly used in treating acne. It is used clinically to treat a wide range of medical conditions, including wet age-related macular degeneration, psoriasis, atherosclerosis, and has shown some efficacy in antiviral treatments, including herpes. It also treats malignant cancers including head and neck, lung, bladder, and particular skin. The technology has also been tested for treatment of prostate cancer, both in a dog model and in human prostate cancer patients. Basics It is recognized as a treatment strategy that is both minimally invasive and minimally toxic. Other light-based and laser therapies such as laser wound healing and rejuvenation, or intense pulsed light hair removal do not require a photosensitizer. Photosensitizers have been employed to sterilize blood plasma and water in order to remove blood-borne viruses and microbes and have been considered for agricultural uses, including herbicides and insecticides. Photodynamic therapies advantages lessen the need for delicate surgery and lengthy recuperation and minimal formation of scar tissue and disfigurement. A side effect is the associated photosensitization of skin tissue. Reactive oxygen species PDT applications involve three components, a photosensitizer, a light source and tissue oxygen. The wavelength of the light source needs to be appropriate for exciting the photosensitizer to produce radicals and slash or reactive oxygen species. These are free radicals generated through electron abstraction or transfer from a substrate molecule and highly reactive state of oxygen known as singlet oxygen. Photochemical Processes PDT is a multi-stage process. First a photosensitizer with negligible dark toxicity is administered, either systemically or topically, in the absence of light. When a sufficient amount of photosensitizer appears in diseased tissue, the photosensitizer is activated by exposure to light for a specified period. The light dose supplies sufficient energy to stimulate the photosensitizer but not enough to damage neighboring healthy tissue. The reactive oxygen kills the target cells. Photochemical Mechanisms In air and tissue, molecular oxygen occurs in a triplet state, whereas almost all other molecules are in a singlet state. Reactions between triplet and singlet molecules are forbidden by quantum mechanics making oxygen relatively non-reactive at physiological conditions. A photosensitizer is a chemical compound that can be promoted to an excited state upon absorption of light and undergo intersystem crossing with oxygen to produce singlet oxygen. This species is highly cytotoxic, rapidly attacking any organic compounds it encounters. It is rapidly eliminated from cells, in an average of 3s. Photosensitizers and Photochemistry When a photosensitizer is in its excited state it can interact with molecular triplet oxygen and produce radicals and reactive oxygen species, crucial to the type 2 mechanism. These species include singlet oxygen, hydroxyl radicals, and superoxide ions. They can interact with cellular components including unsaturated lipids, amino acid residues and nucleic acids. If sufficient oxidative damage ensues, this will result in target cell death. Photochemical Reactions When a chromophore molecule, 
such as a cyclic tetrapyrrolic molecule, absorbs a photon, one of its electron s is promoted into a higher energy orbital, elevating the chromophore from the ground state into a short-lived, electronically excited state composed of vibrational sublevels. The excited chromophore can lose energy by rapidly decaying through these sublevels via internal conversion to populate the first excited singlet state, before quickly relaxing back to the ground state. The decay from the excited singlet state to the ground state is via fluorescence. Singlet state lifetimes of excited fluorophores are very short since transitions between the same spin states conserve the spin multiplicity of the electron and, according to the spin selection rules, are therefore considered allowed transitions. Alternatively, an excited singlet state electron can undergo spin inversion and populate the lower energy first excited triplet state via intersystem crossing, a spin forbidden process, since the spin of the electron is no longer conserved. The excited electron can then undergo a second spin forbidden inversion and depopulate the excited triplet state by decaying to the ground state via phosphorescence. Owing to the spin-forbidden triplet to singlet transition, the lifetime of phosphorescence is considerably longer than that of fluorescence. Type I processes Type II processes Photosensitizers Cyclic tetrapyrrolic chromophores Tetrapyrrolic photosensitizers in the excited singlet state are relatively efficient at intersystem crossing and can consequently have a high triplet state quantum yield. The longer lifetime of this species is sufficient to allow the excited triplet state photosensitizer to interact with surrounding biomolecules, including cell membrane constituents. Excited triplet state photosensitizers can react via type I and type II processes. Type I processes can involve the excited singlet or triplet photosensitizer, however due to the short lifetime of the excited singlet state, the photosensitizer can only react if it is intimately associated with a substrate. In both cases the interaction is with readily oxidizable or reducible substrates. Type II processes involve the direct interaction of the excited triplet photosensitizer with molecular oxygen. Type I processes can be divided into type I and type I. Type I involves the transfer of an electron from a substrate molecule to the excited state photosensitizer, generating a photosensitizer radical anion and a substrate radical cation. The majority of the radicals produced from type I reactions react instantaneously with molecular oxygen, generating a mixture of oxygen intermediates. For example, the photosensitizer radical anion can react instantaneously with molecular oxygen to generate a superoxide radical anion, which can go on to produce the highly reactive hydroxyl radical initiating a cascade of cytotoxic free radicals, this process is common in the oxidative damage of fatty acids and other lipids. The type I process involves the transfer of a hydrogen atom to the excited state photosensitizer. This generates free radicals capable of rapidly reacting with molecular oxygen and creating a complex mixture of reactive oxygen intermediates including reactive peroxides. Type II processes involve the direct interaction of the excited triplet state photosensitizer with ground state molecular oxygen, a spin allowed transition the excited state photosensitizer and ground state molecular oxygen are of the same spin state. When the excited photosensitizer collides with molecular oxygen, a process of triplet-triplet annihilation takes place. This inverts the spin of one oxygen molecule's outermost antibonding electrons, generating two forms of singlet oxygen, while simultaneously depopulating the photosensitizer's excited triplet state. 
The higher energy singlet oxygen state is very short-lived, undetectable in H2O slash D2O and rapidly relaxes to the lower energy excited state. It is, therefore, this lower energy form of singlet oxygen that is implicated in cell injury and cell death. The highly reactive singlet oxygen species produced via the type 2 process act near to their site generation and within a radius of approximately 20 nm, with a typical lifetime of approximately 40 nanoseconds in biological systems. It is possible that singlet oxygen can diffuse up to approximately 300 nm in vivo. Singlet oxygen can theoretically only interact with proximal molecules and structures within this radius. ROS initiate reactions with many biomolecules, including amino acid residues and proteins, such as tryptophan, unsaturated lipids like cholesterol and nucleic acid bases, particularly guanosine and guanine derivatives with the latter base more susceptible to ROS. These interactions cause damage and potential destruction to cellular membranes and enzyme deactivation, culminating in cell death. It is probable that in the presence of molecular oxygen and as a direct result of the photoirradiation of the photosensitizer molecule, both type I and II pathways play a pivotal role in disrupting cellular mechanisms and cellular structure. Nevertheless, considerable evidence suggests that the type II photooxygenation process predominates in the induction of cell damage a consequence of the interaction between the irradiated photosensitizer and molecular oxygen. Cells in vivo may be partially protected against the effects of photodynamic therapy by the presence of singlet oxygen scavengers. Certain skin cells are somewhat resistant to PDT in the absence of molecular oxygen further supporting the proposal that the type 2 process is at the heart of photo-initiated cell death. Strong absorption with a high extinction coefficient in the red-slash-near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum allows deeper tissue penetration. Longer wavelengths allow the light to penetrate deeper and treat larger structures, suitable photophysical characteristics a high quantum yield of triplet formation, a high singlet oxygen quantum yield, a relatively long triplet state lifetime, and a high triplet state energy. Values of phi t equals 0.83 and phi delta equals 0.65, phi t equals 0.83 and phi delta equals 0.72, and phi t equals 0.96 and phi delta equals 0.82 have been achieved, low dark toxicity and negligible cytotoxicity in the absence of light, preferential accumulation in diseased slash target tissue over healthy tissue, rapid clearance from the body post-procedure, high chemical stability, single, well-characterized compounds with a known and constant composition, short and high-yielding synthetic root, simple and stable formulation, soluble in biological media. Allowing intravenous administration. Otherwise, a hydrophilic delivery system must enable efficient and effective transportation of the photosensitizer to the target site via the bloodstream low photo bleaching to prevent degradation of the photosensitizer so it can continue producing singlet oxygen, natural fluorescence. The efficiency of type 2 processes is dependent upon the triplet state lifetime tau t and the triplet quantum yield of the photosensitizer. Both of these parameters have been implicated in phototherapeutic effectiveness further supporting the distinction between type I and type II mechanisms. However, the success of a photosensitizer is not exclusively dependent upon a type II process. Multiple photosensitizers display excited triplet lifetimes that are too short to permit a type II process to occur. For example, 
the copper metal lated octethyl benzochlorin photosensitizer has a triplet state lifetime of less than 20 nanoseconds and is still deemed to be an efficient photodynamic agent. Many photosensitizers for PDT exist. They divide into porphyrins, chlorins, and dyes. Examples include aminolavulinic acid, silicon thalocyanine PC4, m tetrahydroxyphenyl chlorine and monoel aspartyl chlorine E6. Photosensitizers commercially available for clinical use include Alumera, Photofrin, Visudine, Levulin, Foscan, Mitvux, Hexix, Sisview, and Laserferin, with others in development, e.g. Antrin, Photochlor, Photosins, Fatrax, Lumican, Severa, Visanac, BF200 ALA, Amphenex, and Azotopyromethines. The major difference between photosensitizers is the parts of the cell that they target. Unlike in radiation therapy, where damage is done by targeting cell DNA, most photosensitizers target other cell structures. For example, MTHPC localizes in the nuclear envelope. In contrast, ALA localizes in the mitochondria and methylene blue in the lysosomes. Cyclic tetrapyrrolic molecules are fluorophores and photosensitizers. Cyclic tetrapyrrolic derivatives have an inherent similarity to the naturally occurring porphyrins present in living matter. Porphyrins are a group of naturally occurring and intensely colored compounds, whose name is drawn from the Greek word porphyra, or purple. These molecules perform biologically important roles including oxygen transport and photosynthesis and have applications in fields ranging from fluorescent imaging to medicine. Porphyrins are tetrapyrrolic molecules, with the heart of the skeleton a heterocyclic macrocycle, known as a porphine. The fundamental porphine frame consists of four pyrrolic subunits linked on opposing sides through four methine bridges known as the mesocarbon atoms slash positions. The resulting conjugated planar macrocycle may be substituted at the meso, and slash or beta positions, if the meso and beta hydrogens are substituted with non-hydrogen atoms or groups, the resulting compounds are known as porphyrins. The inner two protons of a free base porphyrin can be removed by strong bases such as alkoxides, forming a dianionic molecule, conversely, the inner two pyrrole 9 nitrogens can be protonated with acids such as trifluoroacetic acid affording a dicationic intermediate. The tetradentate anionic species can readily form complexes with most metals. Porphyrin's highly conjugated skeleton produces a characteristic ultraviolet visible spectrum. The spectrum typically consists of an intense, narrow absorption band at around 400 nm, known as the sorit band or B band, followed by four longer wavelength, weaker absorptions referred to as the Q bands. The sorit band arises from a strong electronic transition from the ground state to the second excited singlet state whereas the Q-band is a result of a weak transition to the first excited singlet state. The dissipation of energy via internal conversion is so rapid that fluorescence is only observed from depopulation of the first excited singlet state to the lower energy ground state. The key characteristic of a photosensitizer is the ability to preferentially accumulate in diseased tissue and induce a desired biological effect via the generation of cytotoxic species. Specific Criteria While the disadvantages associated with first-generation photosensitizers HPD and photofrin permitted some therapeutic use, they markedly reduced application to a wider field of disease. Second-generation photosensitizers were key to the development of photodynamic therapy. 5-aminolovulinic acid is a prodrug used to treat and image multiple superficial cancers and tumors. 
ALA a key precursor in the biosynthesis of the naturally occurring porphyrin, heme. Heme is synthesized in every energy-producing cell in the body and is a key structural component of hemoglobin, myoglobin, and other heme proteins. The immediate precursor to heme is protoporphyrin 9, an effective photosensitizer. Heme itself is not a photosensitizer, due to the coordination of a paramagnetic ion in the center of the macrocycle causing significant reduction in excited state lifetimes. The heme molecule is synthesized from glycine and succinyl coenzyme A. The rate-limiting step in the biosynthesis pathway is controlled by a tight feedback mechanism in which the concentration of heme regulates the production of ALA. However, this controlled feedback can be bypassed by artificially adding excess exogenous ALA to cells. The cells respond by producing PPIX at a faster rate than the ferrochelatase enzyme can convert it to heme. Porphyrins ALA, marketed as levulin, has shown promise in photodynamic therapy via both intravenous and oral administration, as well as through topical administration in the treatment of malignant and non-malignant dermatological conditions, including psoriasis, Bowen's disease, and hirsutism. ALA accumulates more rapidly in comparison to other intravenously administered sensitizers. Typical peak two more accumulation levels post-administration for PPIX are usually achieved within several hours. Other photosensitizers may take up to 96 hours to reach peak levels. ALA is also excreted more rapidly from the body than other photosensitizers, minimizing photosensitivity side effects. Esterified ALA derivatives with improved bioavailability have been examined. A methyl ALA ester is now available for basal cell carcinoma and other skin lesions. Benzyl and hexyl ester derivatives are used for gastrointestinal cancers and for the diagnosis of bladder cancer. Benzoporphyrin derivative monoacid ring A marketed as visudine has been approved by health authorities in multiple jurisdictions, including US FDA, for the treatment of wet AMD beginning in 1999. It has also undergone Phase three clinical trials for the treatment of cutaneous non-melanoma skin cancer. The chromophore of bpd -MA has a red-shifted and intensified long-wavelength absorption maxima at approximately 690 nm. Tissue penetration by light at this wavelength is 50% greater than that achieved for photofrin. Vertiporfin has further advantages over the first-generation sensitizer photofrin. It is rapidly absorbed by the tumor and is rapidly cleared from the body, minimizing patient photosensitivity. Chlorin photosensitizer tin edio purpurin is marketed as perlitin. Perlitin has undergone Phase II clinical trials for cutaneous metastatic breast cancer and Kaposi's sarcoma in patients with AIDS. Perlitin has been used successfully to treat the non-malignant conditions psoriasis and restenosis. Absorption spectroscopy Chlorins are distinguished from the parent porphyrins by a reduced exocyclic double bond decreasing the symmetry of the conjugated macrocycle. This leads to increased absorption in the long wavelength portion of the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Perlitin is a purpurin, a degradation product of chlorophyll. Ideal photosensitizers First generation ISC rates and the fluorescence lifetimes gradually decreased with increasing atomic number. GDTEX and TBTEX chromophores showed slower rates of ISC and longer lifetimes than HOTEX or DYTEX. Second generation 5 aminolovulinic acid, Vertiporphin. 
Perlitin has a tin atom chelated in its central cavity that causes a red shift of approximately 20-30 nm. Perlitin has been reported to localize in skin and produce a photoreaction 7-14 days post-administration. Perlitin Tetrachlorin is in clinical trials for head and neck cancers under the trade name Foskin. It has also been investigated in clinical trials for gastric and pancreatic cancers, hyperplasia, field sterilization after cancer surgery and for the control of antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Foskin has a singlet oxygen quantum yield comparable to other chlorine photosensitizers but lower drug and light doses. Foskin Foskin can render patients photosensitive for up to 20 days after initial illumination. Lutetium texafirin, marketed under the trade name Lutex and Lutrin, is a large porphyrin molecule. Texafirins are expanded porphyrins that have a pentaoza core. It offers strong absorption in the 737-70 nm region. Tissue transparency is optimal in this range. As a result, lutex-based PDT can be carried out more effectively at greater depths and on larger tumors. Lutex Lutex has entered Phase two clinical trials for evaluation against breast cancer and malignant melanomas. A lutex derivative, Entrin has undergone Phase I clinical trials for the prevention of restenosis of vessels after cardiac angioplasty by photoinactivating foam cells that accumulate within arteriolar plagues. A second lutex derivative, Optrin, is in Phase I trials for AMD. ATMPN Texafirins also have potential as radiosensitizers and chemosensitizers. Citrin, a gadolinium texafirin, has been evaluated in Phase III clinical trials against brain metastases and Phase I clinical trials for primary brain tumors. 9 acetoxy 2,7,12,17 tetrakis porphycine has been evaluated as an agent for dermatological applications against psoriasis vulgaris and superficial non-melanoma skin cancer. Zinc thalocyanine A liposomal formulation of zinc thalocyanine has undergone clinical trials against squamous cell carcinomas of the upper aerodigestive tract. Thalocyanines are related to tetraozoporphyrins. Instead of four bridging carbon atoms at the meso positions, as for the porphyrins, PCs have four nitrogen atoms linking the pyrrolic subunits. PCs also have an extended conjugate pathway, a benzene ring is fused to the beta positions of each of the four pyrrolic subunits. These rings strengthen the absorption of the chromophore at longer wavelengths. The absorption band of PCs is almost two orders of magnitude stronger than the highest Q band of hematoporphyrin. These favorable characteristics, along with the ability to selectively functionalize their peripheral structure, make PCs favorable photosensitizer candidates. A sulfonate aluminium PC derivative has entered clinical trials against skin, breast, and lung malignancies and cancer of the gastrointestinal tract. Sulfonation significantly increases PC solubility in polar solvents including water circumventing the need for alternative delivery vehicles. Naphthalocyanines PC4 is a silicon complex under investigation for the sterilization of blood components against human colon, breast, and ovarian cancers and against glioma. A shortcoming of many of the metallo PCS is their tendency to aggregate an aqueous buffer, resulting in a decrease or total loss, of their photochemical activity. This behavior can be minimized in the presence of detergents. Metal-lated cationic porphyrazines, 
including PDPZ+, CUPZ+, CDPZ+, MGPZ+, LPZ and, and GAPZ+, have been tested in vitro on V79 cells. These photosensitizers display substantial dark toxicity. Functional Groups Naphthalocyanines are an extended PC derivative. They have an additional benzene ring attached to each isoindole subunit on the periphery of the PC structure. Subsequently, NCS absorbs strongly at even longer wavelengths than PCs. This absorption in the near-infrared region makes NCS candidates for highly pigmented tumors, including melanomas, which present significant absorption problems for visible light. Third generation However, problems associated with NC photosensitizers include lower stability, as they decompose in the presence of light and oxygen. Metallo-NCS which lack axial ligands, have a tendency to form H aggregates in solution. These aggregates are photoinactive, thus compromising the photodynamic efficacy of NCS. Silicon naphthalocyanine attached to copolymer PEG PCL, block polyaccumulates selectively in cancer cells and reaches a maximum concentration after about one day. The compound provides real-time near-infrared fluorescence imaging with an extinction coefficient of 2.8 times 105 M1CM1 and combinatorial phototherapy with dual photothermal and photodynamic therapeutic mechanisms that may be appropriate for adriamycin-resistant tumors. The particles had a hydrodynamic size of 37.66 plus or minus 0.26 nm and surface charge of 2.76 plus or minus 1.83 mv. Metallation Altering the peripheral functionality of porphyrin-type chromophores can affect photodynamic activity. Diamino-platinum porphyrins show high anti-tumor activity demonstrating the combined effect of the cytotoxicity of the platinum complex and the photodynamic activity of the porphyrin species. Positively charged PC derivatives have been investigated. Cationic species are believed to selectively localize in the mitochondria. Zinc and copper cationic derivatives have been investigated. The positively charged zinc-complexed PC is less photodynamically active than its neutral counterpart in vitro against V79 cells. Water-soluble cationic porphyrins bearing nitrophenyl, aminophenyl, hydroxyphenyl, and slash or pyridinyamyl functional groups exhibit varying cytotoxicity to cancer cells in vitro depending on the nature of the metal ion and on the number and type of functional groups. The manganese pyridiniumyl derivative has shown the highest photodynamic activity, while the nickel analog is photoinactive. Another metalloporphyrin complex, the iron chelate, is more photoactive than the manganese complexes, the zinc derivative is photoinactive. The hydrophilic sulfonate porphyrins and PCs compounds were tested for photodynamic activity. The disulfonated analogs exhibited greater photodynamic activity than their D, mono, tri and tetrasulfonated counterparts, two more activity increased with increasing degree of sulfonation. Many photosensitizers are poorly soluble in aqueous media particularly at physiological pH, limiting their use. Alternate delivery strategies range from the use of oil and water emulsions to carrier vehicles such as liposomes and nanoparticles. Although these systems may increase therapeutic effects, the carrier system may inadvertently decrease the observed singlet oxygen quantum yield. The singlet oxygen generated by the photosensitizer must diffuse out of the carrier system, and since singlet oxygen is believed to have a narrow radius of action, 
it may not reach the target cells. The carrier may limit light absorption, reducing singlet oxygen yield. Another alternative that does not display the scattering problem is the use of moieties. Strategies include directly attaching photosensitizers to biologically active molecules such as antibodies. Various metals form into complexes with photosensitizer macrocycles. Multiple second-generation photosensitizers contain a chelated central metal ion. The main candidates are transition metals although photosensitizers co-ordinated to group 13 and group 14 metals have been synthesized. Expanded metalloporphyrins The metal ion does not confer definite photoactivity on the complex. Copper, cobalt, iron, and zinc complexes of HP are all photoinactive in contrast to metal-free porphyrins. However, Texafirin and PC photosensitizers do not contain metals, only the metallo complexes have demonstrated efficient photosensitization. Metallochlorins slash bacteria chlorins The central metal ion, bound by a number of photosensitizers, strongly influences the photophysical properties of the photosensitizer. Chelation of paramagnetic metals to a PC chromophore appears to shorten triplet lifetimes, generating variations in the triplet quantum yield and triplet lifetime of the photoexcited triplet state. Metallothalocyanines Certain heavy metals are known to enhance intersystem crossing. Generally, diamagnetic metals promote ISC and have a long triplet lifetime. In contrast, paramagnetic species deactivate excited states, reducing the excited state lifetime and preventing photochemical reactions. However, exceptions to this generalization include copper octethylbenzochlorin, metallonaphthocyanine sulfobenzoporphyrazines. Many metal-lated paramagnetic texafirin species exhibit triplet state lifetimes in the nanosecond range. These results are mirrored by metal-lated PCs. PCs metal-lated with diamagnetic ions, such as Zn2+, Al3+, and Ga3+, generally yield photosensitizers with desirable quantum yields and lifetimes. Photosensitizer ZNPCS4 has a singlet oxygen quantum yield of 0.70, nearly twice that of most other MPCS. Metallonaphthalocyanines Applications Photoimmunotherapy Vascular targeting Acne Ophthalmology History Expanded porphyrins have a larger central binding cavity, increasing the range of potential metals. Diamagnetic metallotexafirins have shown photophysical properties, high triplet quantum yields and efficient generation of singlet oxygen. In particular, the zinc and cadmium derivatives display triplet quantum yields close to unity. In contrast, the paramagnetic metallotexafirins, MNTEX, SMTEX, and EUTEX, have undetectable triplet quantum yields. This behavior is parallel with that observed for the corresponding metalloporphyrins. The cadmium texafirin derivative has shown in vitro photodynamic activity against human leukemia cells and gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Although follow-up studies have been limited with this photosensitizer due to the toxicity of the complexed cadmium ion. A zinc metallated seco, porphyrazine has a high quantum singlet oxygen yield. This expanded porphyrin-like photosensitizer has shown the best singlet oxygen photosensitizing ability of any of the reported seco porphyrazines. 
Platinum and palladium derivatives have been synthesized with singlet oxygen quantum yields of 0.59 and 0.54, respectively. The tin purpurins are more active when compared with analogous zinc purpurins, against human cancers. Sulfonate benzochlorin derivatives demonstrated a reduced phototherapeutic response against murine leukemia L1210 cells in vitro and transplanted urothelial cell carcinoma in rats, whereas the tin metal-lated benzochlorins exhibited an increased photodynamic effect in the same tumor model. Copper octethyl benzochlorin demonstrated greater photoactivity towards leukemia cells in vitro in a rat bladder tumor model. It may derive from interactions between the cationic imminium group and biomolecules. Such interactions may allow electron transfer reactions to take place via the short lived excited singlet state and lead to the formation of radicals and radical ions. The copper-free derivative exhibited a tumor response with short intervals between drug administration and photodynamic activity. Increased in vivo activity was observed with the zinc benzochlorin analog. PC's properties are strongly influenced by the central metal ion. CO ordination of transition metal ions gives metallo complexes with short triplet lifetimes resulting in different triplet quantum yields and lifetimes. Diamagnetic metals such as zinc, aluminium, and gallium, generate metallothalocyanines with high triplet quantum yields and short lifetimes and high singlet oxygen quantum yields. As a result, ZNPC and LPC have been evaluated as second-generation photosensitizers active against certain tumors. Aluminium has been successfully coordinated to MNSBP. The resulting complex showed photodynamic activity against EMT6 tumor bearing bulb slash C mice. Work with zinc NC with various amido substituents revealed that the best phototherapeutic response with a tetrabenzamido analog. Complexes of silicon NCS with two axial ligands in anticipation the ligands minimize aggregation. Disubstituted analogs as potential photodynamic agents are an efficient photosensitizer against Lewis lung carcinoma in mice. SINC2NC18H372 is effective against bulb slash C mice MS2 fibrosarcoma cells. Siloxane NCS may be efficacious photosensitizers against EMT6 tumors in bulb slash C mice. The ability of metallo NC derivatives to generate singlet oxygen is weaker than the analogous metallo PCS, reportedly 1.63 orders of magnitude less. In porphyrin systems, the zinc ion appears to hinder the photodynamic activity of the compound. By contrast, in the higher slash expanded pi systems, zinc chelated dyes form complexes with good to high results. An extensive study of metal lated texafirins focused on the lanthanide metal ions, Y, N, LU, CD, ND, SM, EU, GD, TB, DY, HO, ER. TM and YB found that when diamagnetic LU was complexed to texafirin, an effective photosensitizer was generated. However, using the paramagnetic GD ion for the LU metal, exhibited no photodynamic activity. The study found a correlation between the excited singlet and triplet state lifetimes and the rate of ISC of the diamagnetic texafirin complexes. Why? in an LU and the atomic number of the cation. Paramagnetic metallotexafirins displayed rapid ISC. Triplet lifetimes were strongly affected by the choice of metal ion. The diamagnetic ions displayed triplet lifetimes ranging from 187, 126 and 35 μs, respectively. 
comparable lifetimes for the paramagnetic species were obtained. Three measured paramagnetic complexes measured significantly lower than the diamagnetic metallotexafirins. In general, singlet oxygen quantum yields closely followed the triplet quantum yields. Various diamagnetic and paramagnetic texafirins investigated have independent photophysical behavior with respect to a complex's magnetism. The diamagnetic complexes were characterized by relatively high fluorescence quantum yields, excited singlet and triplet lifetimes and singlet oxygen quantum yields, in distinct contrast to the paramagnetic species. The plus two charged diamagnetic species appeared to exhibit a direct relationship between their fluorescence quantum yields, excited state lifetimes, rate of ISC and the atomic number of the metal ion. The greatest diamagnetic ISC rate was observed for LUTEX, a result ascribed to the heavy atom effect. The heavy atom effect also held for the YTEX, INTEX and LUTEX triplet quantum yields and lifetimes. The triplet quantum yields and lifetimes both decreased with increasing atomic number. The singlet oxygen quantum yield correlated with this observation. Photophysical properties displayed by paramagnetic species were more complex. The observed data slash behavior was not correlated with the number of unpaired electrons located on the metal ion. For example, to achieve selective target cell destruction, while protecting normal tissues, Either the photosensitizer can be applied locally to the target area, or targets can be locally illuminated. Skin conditions, including acne, psoriasis, and also skin cancers, can be treated topically and locally illuminated. For internal tissues and cancers, intravenously administered photosensitizers can be illuminated using endoscopes and fiber optic catheters. Photosensitizers can target viral and microbial species, including HIV and MRSA. Using PDT, pathogens present in samples of blood and bone marrow can be decontaminated before the samples are used further for transfusions or transplants. PDT can also eradicate a wide variety of pathogens of the skin and of the oral cavities. Given the seriousness that drug-resistant pathogens have now become, there is increasing research into PDT as a new antimicrobial therapy. Photoimmunotherapy is an oncological treatment for various cancers that combines photodynamic therapy of tumor with immunotherapy treatment. Combining photodynamic therapy with immunotherapy enhances the immunostimulating response and has synergistic effects for metastatic cancer treatment. Some photosensitizers naturally accumulate in the endothelial cells of vascular tissue allowing vascular targeted PDT. Vertiporfin was shown to target the neovasculature resulting from macular degeneration in the macula within the first 30 minutes after intravenous administration of the drug. Compared to normal tissues, most types of cancers are especially active in both the uptake and accumulation of photosensitizers agents, which makes cancers especially vulnerable to PDT. Since photosensitizers can also have a high affinity for vascular endothelial cells. PDT is currently in clinical trials as a treatment for severe acne. Initial results have shown for it to be effective as a treatment only for severe acne. The treatment causes severe redness and moderate to severe pain and burning sensation. One phase two trial, while it showed improvement, was not superior to blue-slash-violet light alone. As cited above, vertiporfin was widely approved for the treatment of wet AMD beginning in 1999. The drug targets the neovasculature that is caused by the condition. In the late 19th century, 
Finson successfully demonstrated phototherapy by employing heat-filtered light from a carbon arc lamp in the treatment of a tubercular condition of the skin known as lupus vulgaris, for which he won the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. In 1913 another German scientist, Meyer Betz, described the major stumbling block of photodynamic therapy. After injecting himself with hematoporphyrin, he swiftly experienced a general skin sensitivity upon exposure to sunlight a recurrent problem with many photosensitizers. The first evidence that agents, photosensitive synthetic dyes, in combination with a light source and oxygen could have potential therapeutic effect was made at the turn of the 20th century in the laboratory of Hermann von Toppiner in Munich. Germany. Germany was leading the world in industrial dye synthesis at the time. While studying the effects of acridine on paramecia cultures, Oscar Ropp, a student of von Toppiner observed a toxic effect. Fortuitously Ropp also observed that light was required to kill the paramecia. Subsequent work in von Toppiner's laboratory showed that oxygen was essential for the photodynamic action a term coined by von Toppiner. Von Toppiner and colleagues performed the first PDT trial in patients with skin carcinoma using the photosensitizer, eosin. Of six patients with a facial basal cell carcinoma, treated with a 1% eosin solution and long-term exposure either to sunlight or arc lamp light, four patients showed total tumor resolution in a relapse-free period of 12 months. In 1924 Polycard revealed the diagnostic capabilities of hematoporphyrin fluorescence when he observed that ultraviolet radiation excited red fluorescence in the sarcomas of laboratory rats. Polycard hypothesized that the fluorescence was associated with endogenous hematoporphyrin accumulation. In 1948 Fig and co-workers showed on laboratory animals that porphyrins exhibit a preferential affinity to rapidly dividing cells, including malignant, embryonic and regenerative cells. They proposed that porphyrins could be used to treat cancer. Photosensitizer hematoporphyrin derivative, was first characterized in 1960 by Lipson. Lipson sought a diagnostic agent suitable for tumor detection. HPD allowed Lipson to pioneer the use of endoscopes and HPD fluorescence. HPD is a porphyrin species derived from hematoporphyrin, Porphyrins have long been considered as suitable agents for tumor photodiagnosis and tumor PDT because cancerous cells exhibit significantly greater uptake and affinity for porphyrins compared to normal tissues. This had been observed by other researchers prior to Lipson. Thomas Doherty and co-workers at Roswell Park Cancer Institute, Buffalo, New York clinically tested PDT in 1978. They treated 113 cutaneous or subcutaneous malignant tumors with HPD and observed total or partial resolution of 111 tumors. Doherty helped expand clinical trials and formed the International Photodynamic Association, in 1986. John Toth Product manager for Cooper Medical Devices Corp. Cooper Laser Sonics, noticed the photodynamic chemical effect of the therapy and wrote the first white paper naming the therapy Photodynamic Therapy with Early Clinical Argon Dye Lasers circa 1981. The company set up 10 clinical sites in Japan where the term radiation had negative connotations. HPD under the brand name Photofrin, was the first PDT agent approved for clinical use in 1993 to treat a form of bladder cancer in Canada. 
Over the next decade, both PDT and the use of HPD received international attention and greater clinical acceptance and led to the first PDT treatments approved by U.S. Food and Drug Administration JAPA and parts of Europe for use against certain cancers of the esophagus and non-small cell lung cancer. Photofrin had the disadvantages of prolonged patient photosensitivity and a weak long wavelength absorption. This led to the development of second-generation photosensitizers, including vertiporfin, and more recently, third-generation targetable photosensitizers, such as antibody-directed photosensitizers. In the 1980s, David Dolphin, Julia Levy, and colleagues developed a novel photosensitizer, vertiporfin. Vertiporfin, a porphyrin derivative, is activated at 690 nm, a much longer wavelength than photofrin. It has the property of preferential uptake by neovasculature. It has been widely tested for its use in treating skin cancers and received FDA approval in 2000 for the treatment of wet age-related macular degeneration. As such it was the first medical treatment ever approved for this condition which is a major cause of vision loss. Russian scientists pioneered a photosensitizer called Photogem which, like HPD, was derived from hematoporphyrin in 1990 by Moranov and co-workers. Photogem was approved by the Ministry of Health of Russia and tested clinically from February 1992 to 1996. A pronounced therapeutic effect was observed in 91% of the 1,500 patients. 62% had total tumor resolution. A further 29% had 50% tumor shrinkage. In early diagnosis patients 92% experienced complete resolution. Russian scientists collaborated with NASA scientists who were looking at the use of LEDs as more suitable light sources, compared to lasers, for PDT applications. Since 1990, the Chinese have been developing clinical expertise with PDT, using domestically produced photosensitizers, derived from hematoporphyrin. China is notable for its expertise in resolving difficult-to-reach tumors. PUVA therapy uses sirolin as photosensitizer and UVA ultraviolet as light source, but this form of therapy is usually classified as a separate form of therapy from photodynamic therapy. To allow treatment of deeper tumors some researchers are using internal chemiluminescence to activate the photosensitizer. Modern Era Photodynamic and Photobiology Organizations Miscellany